Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on using Excel or any spreadsheet. In this case it's actually going to be a Google spreadsheet. Um, this is a lab I do with my students where they fly pens across the classroom and then take measurements and then they're going to create calculations based on their distances, create an average, a team average, um, the player's individual average, their furthest, and so forth. So to get started I've set up this uh, spreadsheet to begin with. We've got players names one, two, three, and four. They're gonna fly their pens four different times. They're gonna write, type in the um, in these, this section they're gonna type in the distance of their pens, how far they flew. And then they're gonna create a calculation that will take the players individual average the players uh, average in centimeters, players average in feet and different uh, things like that and then we'll actually get a, a total average. So the first trick I want to show you is first of all you can see I've got a little bit wasted space in here with this flight one so if students will ho um, hover their mouse right between um, B and C they could drag this over but sometimes they drag too far or, or people with shaky hands can't quite get it closer so what I teach my students is to just double click and it will actually shrink it to the very to the smallest word within a whole range of cells so in this case flight 2 it'll always follow and go exactly to the edge of flight 2 flight 3 we can shrink down flight 4 you can also see that maybe I'm missing some text behind here, so I'm going to do that. Oh, look, millimeters are there. I'm going to change that to centimeters. Double click here, now I've got my inches. And then double click here, and it will go to the furthest and give me the feet. So now these things are adjusted to the correct size. So what we want to do is we want to create the player's average in millimeters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sum these things up, right? How do we get an average? We add all four things and we're going to divide it by four. So we're going to always click equals first to tell the computer to create a formula. And we're going to say sum. So we're actually going to sum this up. And we are going to then um, click open parentheses and we're going to highlight the four things. Okay, so we're actually going to sum flight 1, flight 2, flight 3, and flight 4, four close parentheses, and then divide that total by 4. And that should give us some number. Okay, so let's say I went um, 20 here, 20 here, 20 millimeters, and then I went um, 40 millimeters and another 40 millimeters, and if we were to add all that up and then divide by 4, we would end up getting 30. So that's how we get a player's average. So the temptation is to actually type that formula in for this cell so we could calculate the player's average here and calculate this cell and calculate this cell. And the nice thing about a spreadsheet is we don't have to type all those in again. All we have to do is highlight our initial formula. You can see it's still up here. And we're going to hover at the bottom right corner and we're going to drag down. And you'll see that it created the calculations. You can see the ranges change up here B4 to E4. Now we got B5 to E5. Okay, so now all we have to do is enter numbers here and it will create um, the averages for us. It's pretty neat. Kids just created a calculator. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to get an average of centimeters. So what we need to do is we need to take this cell and we need to divide it by 10 so we can go from millimeters to centimeters. Of course, I don't tell that to my students. I let them figure that out themselves. So what they're going to do is they're going to say equals. They're going to click on the F2 and they're going to say divided by 10. And then hit enter. Their average centimeters was 3. And of course we don't want to type in all of that information again so we're going to use our copy tool and we're going to copy that formula all the way down. 
Well, now we want to do a conversion. We want to change it from centimeters to inches. And what we do know is that for every inch, it is 2.54 centimeters. Okay, and I, I actually give that calculation to my students, or that number. So now my students have to decide, how do I go from three centimeters and create an inch out of it? And they're going to take their formula again. They're going to say equals. They're going to click on the centimeters, and then they're going to divide by 2.54. and hit enter and so the player's average in inches would be 1.18 inches then they're going to use their copy tool again they're going to drag it all the way down and then finally we want to change their average into feet as well and what they're going to do is how many inches are in a foot which they ought to be able to know so they could actually say a calculation they go equals and they go this divided by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot hit enter and it's 0 0.098 they're going to use their copy tool and drag it all the way down now the final thing that my students have to do is they have to create an average because these are all individual averages up here they're going to create an average for their whole team so what they're going to want to do is they're going to say equals they're going to use the sum feature again sum they're going to per open parentheses, highlight the range of cells that they need, close parentheses, and, and then say divide that by four because there's four calculations. Again, they're going to hit enter. Okay, and so right now this team's, the team's average is 18.44. And now we're going to use the copy tool, but instead of dragging it down, we want to create a total all the way this direction so you could still use that copy tool and we just go this way and it'll actually create the averages for all four sets of cells and so now when kids are actually flying their pins they'll go much further than 20 centimeters they'll probably hopefully go 2,000 millimeters or so and you can see that their averages are gonna change quite drastically here so anyways those are some simple Tools that I teach my students on a regular basis, we use spreadsheets quite often to calculate data for science, and this is one of the activities I do with them. If you'd like to see the full activity, you can go to educationalresource.org, and you'll be able to see the full activity on how to fly pens, which is actually pretty cool in itself, and you can get the worksheets and the assignment for them.